In this video, we'll take a look at how to modify some of the options in our standard default chart that we get output from Microsoft Excel. And here in this chart, there are a few things I'd like to do. First of all, it'd be nice to increase the font point size of some of the things in this chart here so I can read them a little better. I'd also like to modify my title and perhaps change the color of these bars, get rid of these grid lines, and do a couple other things. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. First, I'll start with my chart title. Now, the way to do this is I want to go ahead and double click on the thing I want to modify. So let's double click on chart title. And notice if I click on it again, then I get the cursor flashing. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of the title there. And I'm going to change this to sales by quarter and year. So sales by quarter and year. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to increase the point size of this as well, the font point size. So select that. I'll go to Home. And then let's make this actually bold. And then let's increase this to 24 point font. Okay, good. That looks nice. That's easy to read. Next, I'm going to increase the Y axis values, the sales amounts. Let's go ahead and select on that. Go to Home. And then let's increase those to 12 point font. Good. And then let's also increase these headings here on the x-axis. So select that. And then we'll increase those to 12 as well. Okay, that looks good. And the legend here, west and east, let's do the same. Increase that to 12. All right, that's a lot easier to see. Next, what I want to do is delete these grid lines. So I'm going to click on one of these grid lines here. And notice how you see the circles on the ends of each of the grid lines. That tells me it's the grid lines, in fact, that are being selected. So go ahead and press the Delete key. Okay, that looks good. Now what I want to do is change the color of these bars. So I'm going to select the bar, go to this paintbrush here, click on that, go to Color, and then I want to select the second option. Look how it previews it for me. I like the blue and gray there. So let's select that option. Okay, that looks good. Go ahead and click away from that to turn it off. Perfect. All right, that looks good so far. And then say your boss says, looks at this chart and says, okay, looks good, but I'm having a hard time reading the exact amounts. I would like you to display the actual sales numbers above each bar. Okay, no problem, you say. Let's go ahead and right click over the bar and go to Add Data Labels, and then select that once again, Add Data Labels, and there you go. So it's the same thing on the gray bars. Right click over the gray bars, Add Data Labels, once again, Add Data Labels, and there we go. Now those are a little bit small, so I'm going to select those and dial those up to 11 point font. Okay, that looks good. I didn't choose 12 because 12 gets a little tight with the two bars being close together. All right, that looks very good. We can get a better sense of how this looks by going to Print Preview. So if I go to File and then Print, notice how this looks here. That looks pretty good. All right, one thing though that I'd like to get rid of is I don't really like this border around the table. So let's go back. Okay, so let's click on the outside of the table. And this isn't really selecting the line that I want to get rid of. It's instead selecting the entire table. Notice how the circles are all outside the table. But what it does is it brings up this format chart area, a little window here, a pane. And here under border, notice how it's automatic. I want no lines. So select that. And then let's go ahead and X that out. And now it looks like it's gone. Let's go to Print Preview, File, and then Print. And that looks very nice. That's exactly what we want. In our next video, we'll take a look at how to print both the sheet, the values, and the chart. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.